Hello and welcome to the Archivex Workshop. Here are some answers to questions we have had. What is the width of a road? The width of the road generally depends on the lane width as prescribed by each country. And in ours, India, the lane width for a single lane is 3.75 meters and for a double lane 7.5 meters and so on. This however is just the carriageway or the space meant for the vehicles themselves. The footpath and other uh, road infrastructure is generally extra. For us architects, urban planners and designers, uh, we have given the past century to the car and I think it's a good time to question uh, if we can use some of that space back into our more human uses. Why vertical walls? Why walls vertical? Because you're very good at transferring loads straight down. Therefore, they make putting up a roof or a floor above easier. It makes services like plumbing and electricity easier as well. But why vertical walls? It's easier, but yeah, why vertical walls? Walls are made what you make of them. How can you listen to songs while working? So how can you listen to music while designing or while working on a submission in architecture? Uh, well, you can. It has a calming effect. It is great for your mind to be relaxed when you are designing. Uh, it can also be used as a sense of inspiration because there are structures and variations in musical performances that can be translated into design by many people. Uh, it also helps in a sense of routine, which means that it allows you to uh, put a certain discipline in a certain series of events which lead to creative endeavors always. Uh, also, it helps in noise reduction, which means that it keeps at bay all these other noises that you don't want to focus on and that you focus only on one particular sound. The drawings are not to scale. Drawings are not proportionate. What does that mean? When a drawing is said to be drawn to scale, it means I can zoom in and out of the drawing or print it to whatever size I want and then take a ruler and measure any part of the drawing and get accurate measurements. When a drawing is said to be proportionate, it's more of a rough sketch uh, than a precise drawing. Uh, but I should still be able to zoom in to any part uh, or print it to whatever size and get an approximate measurement. So in both cases, uh, a one meter line drawn wherever should be a one meter line drawn wherever in your entire drawing. Doesn't matter what angle and things like that. That I think is the basic requirement of a drawing for it to be accurate. Is this according to standards? Standards are the regular sizes of things like furniture and other equipment that we might put into our buildings. There are also design standards, which are things like the height of a door, which is 2.1 meters, or the width of a regular chair, which is 0.45 meters. When a reviewer is looking at your design and says this is not to the standards, uh, they generally mean it's too small. <laughs> and uh, maybe the minimum size of each tread of your staircase is not uh, wide enough for a human foot to use for instance and therefore the uh, while looking at it they might say the staircase is not to standard or that you know, the staircase you've drawn does not fit into your design this is not to say that you cannot go against the standards uh, you can make a door taller if you choose or indeed shorter uh, but you have to be able to justify it, whether it's aesthetically or functionally, logically. If you found this video helpful, please like and share the video. For more similar content, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ask your questions in the comments below. See you guys in the next video.